Hey everybody, welcome back to Risen. Now it's time to actually fully become a mage as soon as the uh, Fireball Master gets done smoking his fucking joint. What? Too much of a fucking head rush for you, bro? Are you fucking serious? So this guy gets totally stoned off his ass and walks around curling fireballs. That seems like a great fucking plan. Actually, it kind of sounds kind of amazing, but whatever. Let's go. There you are. Are you ready for your initiation? I am ready. Then follow me to the Hall of the Flame. There's something here about magic. The protectors of the Holy Flame are gathered so that you can take the oath of the Convocation. Have you been tested? Yes. Are you prepared to take the oath? I am. Then it begins. Will you honor the Holy Flame, the Convocation and its laws? I will. The honor of the Convocation must be defended. I will defend the Convocation. We fight for humanity, for our people. They rely upon our strength. They are mine. Ignorance is our enemy. I shall bring knowledge. Weakness of purpose is our enemy. I shall not falter. Through your oath, you are bound to the Convocation. Your path through life is now tied to the Convocation of the Holy Flame. Loyalty and honor will be my companions. The word which you proclaim in our name will be true. Your word will be our judgment. You bring mercy. You bring justice. As a mage, you wield the powers given to us by the flame. Wear this robe as a sign of your office. The ceremony has sealed our bond. You are now one with the Convocation. I am ready for what this brings. Good. Then you will work for me, starting immediately. You are now subject solely to my direct orders. But am I going to get any answers? In order to understand why I am here, what we are fighting for. You must know certain things. So ask your questions. I am ready. Good. But I suspect you must have questions. I do. The gods have left the world. Humanity was supposed to be free. Instead, these storms are sweeping us from the face of the land. These creatures are killing our people. But while the Holy Flame burns strong in this hall, we stand a chance. Let's see if your actions and words match. I will offer you a task. Carry that out, and I shall take it as a sign that the Don can be trusted. That your words are true. Why did the gods leave the world? A mage who wanted to free humanity drove them from this world. And we are at the mercy of what that magic released. 
What matters now is our survival. Why is the Holy Flame important? The Flame is a source of magic. The island is protected by its power. Protected? What about the ruins that appeared and the creatures? They are not our prime concern. It is the storms we must worry about. You keep talking of a worse threat. What is this threat you fear? The Dark Wave, the mage used to free us from the gods, has released other powers. Titans. Crossing the seas, they come with the storms. I have seen them. I have witnessed the destruction they bring to humanity. They are everywhere, and we have found no weapon that can stand against them. What are the Titans? Will you follow me and learn? But how can we stop this destruction? As long as the flame burns, this island is safe. And that gives us time. Time to discover why the Titans do not come here. How they may be stopped. Yes. Show me. Good. I have not misjudged you. Follow me and learn the truth. This text is about magic spells. This world, all the lands you know, were once the domain of the Titans, old beings that shaped this world. They are raw forces of nature that were tamed by the deities you grew up knowing. The gods that enslaved humanity. It was man's duty to drive away those gods, to loose our chains, but in that action, the Titans have also been freed. They seek to take this world from humanity. Human, Titan, one must give. It will not be humanity. Follow me and we shall make certain of this. Now we're going to where we're not allowed to I have walk. fought the Titans on land and sea, but their magic is old, their bodies incorporeal. We will win this battle only once we know how to use the flame. But for that, we must fathom its mysteries. Come, we must go. The temple ruins contain many secrets. It was in such a temple I discovered the ocular I wear. It shows me the magical currents of the world. The holy flame has its origins in the fire of the volcano, and the currents on this island flow there. It must be tied to the secret of this island's survival. Come, let us go there. At least there's no rock slides or lava flows. Here, this gate will lead us to the source of the holy flame. This gate will lead us to the secret of the storms. Humanity must be defended. And it is the flame that holds the key to this. Is there a faster way to reach this place? Take this teleport stone. All right. It is a valuable artifact from the temples. It will bring you directly back to me. This is your mission. This is your duty. Do not fail it. I know that there are multiple teleport stones that can be found in the world it's essentially the game's fast travel system. 
How do we get this gate open? No spell, no brute force can open it. Only the five keys it needs will do. Five crystal discs will open this mechanism. How do you know those discs will open this? I have one of them, and it fits the lock. Unfortunately, the one I have is damaged. The other four missing, but they must be on this island. I came here to seek answers. Those answers are inside this mountain, beyond this gate. You will get me inside. Find these discs. Find them and bring them to me. All right. Serious progress. I will find the crystal discs. The outlaws are looting the ruins. Maybe they found something useful. Look around their camp. Talk to their leader and get me any discs you find there. What if the Don causes problems? He is a man of business. He will negotiate. And if he negotiates, what should I offer him? What he wants. Gold. Tell him he can plunder the ruins he occupies, take whatever baubles he wants. I am only interested in the discs. Inquisitor, will you train me? If you wish. I can instruct you in combat. What can you teach me? Okay, well, we'll worry about staff combat later. About the crystal discs. What happened to the damaged disc? It was exposed to the dark wave. The magic released to drive away the gods, and its crystal lost all of its power. Without it, we cannot open the portal. So what was the point in coming here? I think we can repair the missing disc. I sent the mage Cyrus to see to this. How can the disc be repaired? The druid Eldrick is an expert on crystals. He should be able to help us. And he has spent time studying the ruins here. If anyone on this island has the knowledge to repair the disc, it is him. You don't know if he can fix the disc? If you spend your life waiting until you know things for certain, you will learn nothing. I sent Cyrus to the Druid, but he has yet to return. You should check on him and see what progress the Druid has made. So you think something happened to Cyrus? We should investigate to make sure we must repair the disc. I will look for Cyrus. Good. See to it. Make sure Eldrick repairs the disc, then bring it to me. But hurry, we do not have much time left. I hope there's not a time limit. Where do I find this druid Eldrick? He's a hermit. He has a hut on the east side of the island. It is at the foot of the volcano in the shadow of the mountain face. What do druids do? They study magic, draw on the raw untamed power of nature. This can make them a little strange. They spend their time getting closer to nature, studying animals, avoiding order and civilization. And this druid has the knowledge to help us. Druids are guardians of very ancient and powerful knowledge. Knowledge we need now. I'd also like to know why in the fuck you basically punked out and left everybody on our ship to die, you fucking piece of shit. Where else should I look for discs? Besides the Don's camp. There are no discs in the monastery, but Severin is gathering artifacts at the Inquisition camp outside here, at a place called Tilda's Farm. We can hope he has something there. Talk to Severin. See what they have discovered. Okay, well, I guess that's it for one of 14 teleport stones. Okay, so that gives us a... That looks an awful lot like a path. So we're going to save and we're going to investigate. May not be a path. Okay, well, I see, what is that down there? Is that a fire? Some kind of glowy shit. Oh, that is definitely a path. Another grave, another tomb, a grave 
another two. Wish I knew about prospecting. Okay, that was interesting. That's got me a recipe for something. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so where the fuck am I? Ah, crap. Yeah, this thing is in dire need of a fan patch. Is uh. Okay, I will be right back. There's no choice. I'm going to have to stop this and then restart it. Okay, that was probably not the best plan ever. So there's that doorway. What's this? Okay, I see that's where you put the discs once you have them. I will see about uh, that other pathway once... Uh, Oh, I see. It's like a set of stairs or something. I still haven't looked for a fan patch for this or anything like that, and I'm definitely going to, because that running off a cliff edge and somehow getting stuck, I don't really understand how that bug could have gone unaddressed. It may be a more modern operating system or hardware issue, though. I mean, there's that potential. Well... Has Inquisitor Mendoza revealed his plans to you? Yes, he has. It is time. You must study the power of the runes. You will have need of this. What will I need to do? All power has its roots in learning. You must start by studying the Book of Runes. You must do that as soon as possible. To access the power within runes, you must first understand the seals which protect them. Once you are ready, we will examine these seals together. I am ready to study crystal magic. Have you chosen which type of crystal you wish to study? I am an adept of the fire crystal and can teach you its secrets. So there are other crystals? If you wish to learn about the projectile crystal, Speak to uh -huh. Master Vitus. Master Pallas can teach you the secrets of the Frost Crystal. Master Pallas? It has been a long time since he instructed a student, but there are few who know more about crystals than he. Teach me magic. Teach me how to use the Fireball spell. The skill you need with a Fireball <laughs> is not all magical. Thought and dexterity are also required. Yeah, who cares? Choose your target. Hit it squarely, and your spell will inflict more harm upon your opponent. Teach me how to use the fireball spell. Learning never finishes. Once you have channeled your energy to create the fireball, you can turn that fire into a blazing heat and burn your enemies to ashes. I don't think I have any more learning points. I'm ready to learn about the first runic seal. You must be ready to use your life force to channel this magic. Only then will you be able to reach beyond the protective barrier around the runes. I am ready. Let me see. Your mind is open. Is that a good thing? If you are unprepared, there could be consequences. Great. You are ready. Your life force is fit to channel the powers. The way is now open for you to proceed to the second seal. Okay, well, let's see here. No learning points left. That's fine. Fireball's at three, though. The only issue I'm having right now is I have not the faintest idea how to actually cast the fucking thing. Because it's under magic. Maybe, um... Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. Move that temporarily over. Uh, scoot stuff over because uh Good 
because I'm going to be more likely to hit the uh, combat stuff um, instantly than I am healing, basically. I know, it's probably not as powerful as, you know, I would hope. But, of course, you know, you've got a whole lot more levels to go, as far as that goes. I'm popping down here to the uh, extended library area because there's a rune down here somewhere. Gonna quick save here. need rusty swords. Actually, I don't even know if runes are uh, something that can be um, I don't know if runes are something that wait, let's no, okay. Is that a fucking joint? No, it's a book. Okay. Well, he won't pull himself up, so... From what a little bit of reading I did, apparently there is a rune um, somewhere right in that general area. On top of a shelf or something. I'm not seeing it. Just not seeing it. Oh, damn it. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't pick it up. I saw something behind the flag, but oh, maybe not. I'm gonna make one more attempt. That one's got the candles by it. I don't remember what it's supposed to be, but obviously, since I'm going to have to have the damn things, I might as well get the one that's closest to hand. I just ran right off the edge of that fucking magic protection. Okay. Okay, I have no fucking idea where that would be. How the hell is it? We're gonna go light something on fire now. Because, you know, been waiting for it for quite a few episodes, so what the hell. I'll come back and get the stupid thing off camera. What all do I have? Here. New post for William. Yeah, screw that guy. Um. Okay, Cyrus is over there. Where's the golden delivery? Okay, well. Now you might wonder why I put the uh, fireball in the third slot. That's how I had it set up on um, Divinity 2 Ego Draconis.
Yeah, bitches. Bitch ass recruits. Wait, uh, no, I don't have any learning points. And I am a fair distance, a couple thousand EPs from being able to do anything like that. I gotta watch it walking off the edge there. Keep forgetting that this damn thing will screw you over. So let's save. Okay, nobody's looking. A grave. Another grave. We all go back to the earth. Okay, well none of these graves are usable then. I have a shovel, so now I can loot graves. I also need to get my lock picking up because I found a chest by uh, Harbor Town, but unfortunately, um, my lock picking is not high enough to actually do anything with it. Is that? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah, this definitely needs some power. All right. Okay, I can work with this. Now, is there any way to make it bigger? You know, like a proper fireball, not just something that just hits one target, but you know, D&D &D style, you know, something that's gonna go in pretty much devastated given area. Is that something I can rock and roll with? What you doing? You're roofing now, dude. Yeah, the game has some little glitches and shit here and there, but like I said, it's kind of an older game. I did get it from Dog, you know, good old games. So basically, uh, you got to figure it's might have some issues with the more modern operating systems, even though they're pretty good at you know fixing things like that. Uh, they do point out that in some of the game descriptions on their store pages that some games are compatible with stuff like Windows 8, but they don't mention Windows 10 what whatnot. I don't have Windows 11, and I honestly don't plan to. I mean, fuck that shit. How are things here? We're constantly having to fight off gnomes. One or two are good sport, but get a pack of them and they're trouble. I don't want to die at the hands of a damn gnome. Here they come again. To arms! To arms! Holy fuck. I need more mana. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oops, okay. Hold up. Be right with you. <laughs> Be careful. I don't know the meaning of the word. Okay, I guess I can't go throwing fireballs in the middle of my meat shields. I mean, you know, the uh... Well, you guys got that in hand. I'm gonna go ahead and loot the bodies. Everything alright? That creature won't cause any more trouble. Money, man, money.
All right, that was a good killing. Your known problems are over. If only every problem could be solved so easily, eh? Thought they were just biding their time. They're certainly more tenacious than normal and more organized. More organized? You mean the gnomes have a leader? Well, there's talk, but what, it's just rumor point? and tittle-tattle. There's often no smoke without fire. But this is just a fairy story. Some of the men heard the gnomes talking about the Geiger. But that's a myth. It doesn't really exist, and we haven't seen anything unusual. Sounds like a campfire tale. Yes, but the gnomes have changed. They've never acted like this before. The Geiger? Is that either a really bad old Mark Hamill movie, or did they just drop the map off the front of it? The Inquisitor sent me. He's waiting for the delivery of a crystal disc. Damn. I knew he wouldn't forget about it. Blasted gnomes. They stole it. Afraid so. The Inquisitor won't be happy about that. I don't have enough men to fend them off. So what am I meant to tell the Inquisitor? Sorry, you can't have your crystal disc back. The gnomes are using it as a kitchen table. We've got to get it back somehow. Good luck with that. Hey, this is now as much your problem as it is mine. Right, sure. It was bound to be down to me. How about I look for this crystal disc? That would help us both out. I must be in a charitable mood. Look. Yeah, that's sorry. rare. You think I like asking? So, where are these gnomes? The gnomes usually come from the east. The east? What's there? There's a fair bit of land, then a rocky peninsula. You can reach that via a long rope bridge. You think the gnomes are on the peninsula? Our patrols haven't found a base anywhere else. Yeah, you're wildly useless. But hey, you know. I still haven't finished this one. I need to get some skins, but I don't have know how to do any skinning. I've just been basically robbing stuff off the ground. Anything that you... <coughs> oh, Leonardo. Hmm. I can. I did finish off some of the uh, Harbor Town quests, but scrap metal. Yeah, I haven't found any scrap metal. Did a little bit more of the piece and order thing. Uh, Delgado's right there. Why didn't he leave town? Oh, whatever. Send the servants home. Okay, well, I've done that one. I can probably get a little bit of more experience out of that one right now, because I'm pretty sure I've got healing herbs, five healing plants, and two healing roots, so... Okay, no, I don't. Well, no, I got 15. 15, 3, and... 5, so, uh... Okay, well, I'm missing healing plants, so... Guess not. No point in doing that one right now. Okay, well, they said they're to the east on the peninsula, right? Uh... More or less in this direction. I'm going to get reloaded here. I didn't even need a single healing potion. That's actually kind of amazing. Of course, I will freely admit that, you know, just standing aside and letting all the schmucks run in there and get the shit kicked out of them while I'm hurling fireballs into their midst, yeah, that does tend to be a little healthier for me. Not so much for them, but who cares?
Are those crystals just decoration or do they have any sort of importance? I kind of want to know. Yeah, I might take a little damage jumping off like that, but I'm not too hip on. Um, look, you little shit. I'm gonna say, well, I actually got plenty of mana potions, but screw it. You want some? How about you? Oh, you do? Okay. You're never gonna get to be an old sting rat. Dumbass thing. Okay, I have no idea if I'm actually going in the right direction or not, but he said east, so I'm thinking more or less east. What is this? Crap, I don't want to get hung up on nothing. Okay, you're gonna leave me. Oh shit, okay, yeah, we have no choice. Up the island is back. There's one! After it! Twitch, you motherfucker, twitch. I really hope I didn't need him for anything. Does that sound like he's perma-dead? Usually they get up after a little while, but he don't look like he's getting up. in case. Well, he had one of the rings I need, so I definitely have to get my mana up. That shit is fucking vital. What are we at? 18 out of 42? Yeah, hold on a minute. I think I've got some permanent increases here. apparent that he's not going to be needing it anymore, so like I said, I really hope I don't need him for anything. Ah, that's a long drop. Whoops. Okay, fucking wolves. Casting time on this is a little bit ridiculous, but you know, I guess they have to balance it out somehow. Definitely do need to be hitting up the mana potions. <coughs> Screw it, I'm guessing that guy isn't really important, so I'm just gonna leave him dead. Look, fuck face. Shit, I'm getting surrounded. Uh, 
once again, I don't really care about what they have to loot so much, but I do, however, want to be sure not to leave a bunch of corpses laying around and, you know, cluttering up the game world. Let's try this fucking thing out. Oh, wow. Okay, that actually might be a better idea than Fireball for now. Oh, I'm going completely the wrong fucking direction. I have no idea where anything is here, so... I think that's the peninsula I'm supposed to be going towards. But I'm off to... Ah, shit, okay. Come on, guys, I really... No man. I can't cast without mana. Okay, I need to get I need to set the mana up in then one of these slots. Okay. Oh, okay, is this the right direction? I can't, nope, it's not. Okay, left. Oh, whoops. Well, we're sort of going in the right-ish direction. Okay, you know, I've been waiting for a long time to miss completely. Alright, two is one. Cool. Oh, fuck me running. Okay, this is getting bad. Is this? Yeah, okay, I have no idea where the fuck I am. Completely fucking turned around. Okay, well, this is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call it right here. Um, get myself back to a position where I can actually get something done. Maybe go pick up some more potions and whatnot. It's, you know. I mean, we're almost leveled up again, so that's a good thing. But that said, alright guys, I will catch you next time, and then we are going to go light some thieving ass gnomes on fire. Apparently, I'm now the master of gnomicide. Well, the great gnome purge begins tomorrow. Catch you guys later.